All right, so they're gonna give me armor with no boots or anything, helmet, nothing. And, and look at my skinny knobby knees. I mean, how am I gonna pull this off? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Church, here we are. White Run. Let's go on inside. I've gotten word that someone's looking for me. So it's been a few weeks since we, um, Yisran and I went up against the Necromancer. He's gone back to work with the Dawn, St the Dawn Guard. And I've decided to reconnect with Churcha and do some adventuring together. Hello, friend. Hello. Um, I think the person we're looking for is up here. I have a nine. I can't believe it's here. I was just asking around if anyone knew where I might find you. I heard that you were looking for me. My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. I thought I'd check the tavern and in here in Whiterun first, and then set out for the other towns tomorrow. But fortunately, the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of you escaping that awful dragon attack and originally needs to stick with you. I know nothing more than that. It's at the inn in Fulcrate. Would you please meet him at your earliest convenience? He only wishes to talk to you. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you, and a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another errand to run. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. Alright, well thank you. Good day. All right, let me sit down here and read this now. I can tell you're no stranger. All right, here it is, the letter from Marcus Janus. Dear friend, after I got word of your survival from the terrible dragon attack in Helgen, I came to Skyrim as fast as I could. I've sent my trusty messenger Patsy in the hope that he will be able to find you and give you this letter. Um, he must have me confused with someone else. I did not survive a dragon attack in Helgen. As a matter of fact, when that attack was going on is when I first uh, arrived in Skyrim to join the College of Winterhold. Hmm, so this is a mistaken identity. Anyhow, you are one of the only survivors and you may have explicit knowledge that is vital to me. I would very much like to discuss the events of that day with you. These are truly desperate times and I will accept this small and I hope you will accept this small gift of gold as a token of my appreciation. Would you meet with me in Dead Man's Drink in Falkreath? Well, I suppose I'll meet with him and let him know that he's mistaken me for someone else. All right, Churcha, let's go. All right, we're heading to Falkreath. It's night. It was a long journey. All right, let's go. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. See, that's why sometimes I don't like wearing robes. Excuse me. 
All right, let's see. We're looking for a Marcus Janus. You there. Are you Marcus Janus? It's good that the war is finally over. Hopefully, the people of Skyrim can resume their lives in peace. So you defeated Alduin and saved Skyrim. There will be songs written for you for years, friend. Well, yes, I am the Dragonborn, and you must be Marcus Janus. You wanted to see me? About Helgen? Oh, bless the Divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? Actually, I, I wasn't even there. Um... Well, I mean, all I can tell you is that Helgen was attacked by a dragon. Have you ever seen one? Well, no, now that you mention it. I doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to waste. At least that's what I've been told. Then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. God's damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Even if they did survive the dragon attack, the bandits must have killed them for sure. That place is infested with them. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known the only as the Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. Insurrectionist? And you know this man? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. Of course it is. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion, as captains under Titus Mead II during the Great War. He was a good man in those days, an honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. All right, so what does this have to do with me? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius. His eyes only. Please, return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make haste, young one. And may fortune favor the foolish. Well, I've never gotten such a oh, set of explicit you you instructions me, like that before. Think it's high time that you lie down and All right, where's Churcha? So then came clashing and slashing of steel. At some point, we should hire Thick Lawn here. Full of oh, right, there he she is. could just spend less time serving Dengue. Ah, I wish I could afford to All right, Churcha, let's go. His ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Oh, no. It's a dragon. Dead. That 
quickly. I've never seen such a thing. Churchill, let's go. All right, we're here at Helgen. Early in the morning, come on, let's let's go on inside. Well, one thing that I did learn from uh, teaming up with Isran was this light enchantment. Stop right what? there. What? Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. Well, you have me at a disadvantage, but, um... I'm not here to start any trouble. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. Well, first of all, you couldn't kill me where I stand because you're not powerful enough. But, regardless of that, I have an urgent matter that I need to discuss with Valerius. I know he's here. Never heard of him. You are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. Oh, this is really getting tiresome. I have an urgent message from Marcus Janus. I must be given passage. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. You're not the Leave only one. Now. Come on. I know who you are. And you're no bandits. I don't know who you are, stranger. Or what you want. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. Here. I have a gift from Marcus, Janus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say so? I have said so. And I also have a letter from him to Valerius, his eyes only. Very well, I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. And if you try and start trouble, it will be the last trouble you ever start. Follow me. All right, Churcha, come on. These people really think that they could harm me. Or you, for that matter. You've been hand-trained by me. Come on, let's go. Those are some interesting enchantments that you have on your weapons. Hmm, you all don't really look that tough. All right, let's go. And why have you brought them here? He has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you would want to talk to him. What? Marcus Janus? Falfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. 
I thought the same thing, sir, but it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir, somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Well, Frank, you are dismissed. All of you may resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my questions. May I see that ring? Yes, of course. Take it. It's yours. So you were sent by Marcus Janus? Where is he now? He's in Falkreath, waiting for me to return with your answer. And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? He must have found it in the Imperial City, after you were imprisoned. Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I... This is all so overwhelming. I'm sorry for the loss of your family. Thank you. I love them very deeply. I nearly went mad after they were murdered by those Altmeri dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Uh, let's see this letter you brought. Mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you, all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? He heard a bandit named Val had taken over the fort. He thought it might be you. Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> that's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. You're an honorable man. He said you served with distinction in the war. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Aldmeri diplomat I assassinated. I'm not the same man he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war. And stories of the Keepers of Hatu. No, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred. It's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison where I got from Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. Well, maybe Marcus can help. Perhaps that's why he wants to meet with you. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But... Go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. We never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please, leave me in peace. Well, at least you said please after the begone. All right. Churcha, let's go. All right, we're headed back to Fall Creek. You know, Marcus Janus, you really should, um, get around and stretch your legs. You're in the same spot where I last saw you. Oh, hello. Need something? Yes. I talked to Val. He agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go, but there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Well, you may not know this by looking at me, but I'm quite well off. 250 gold is pittance. But I'll, I'll actually do it for free. I'll return you the, the money if you force it on me. So stick close to me. Let's go. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. You know, you really oh, don't look you that old. You lie and you All right. Me. Now I think Let's it's go. high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. All right, well, at least it's not the middle of the night. All right, Churcha, come on.
All right, make make sure you um keep an eye on him. I don't want to move too fast. Let me know if I need to slow down. this way. Uh-oh. I'm sensing trouble. Time to end. No, you don't. Come on! Come on! Good work, Churcha. Wow, from way back there. And you are too old for fighting. You basically took the orc down by yourself. All right, Churcha, come on. You see that Stendar's aura enchantment? I taught it to him. You make me proud, Churcha. Let's go. Oh, wait, did we, um... Is there anything this person might have? Skooma. Alright, let's keep going. Some more trouble. Is someone there? Oh, Darius, who is that? Janice, okay. All right, Churchill. Wow, look at you showing off so much power. Standing in flames, the both of you? All right, let's go. All right, so we've had two encounters already. I mean, what else is going to happen? I, I shouldn't ask that. Someone there? Yes, yeah, someone is here. There you are. Oh! to 
should be watching your back. I got you. Oh, now what now? Got it. Whoops. Oh, I made it. Marcus, are you okay? Churcha! Oh. oh my goodness, no! He's been injured! Thank you. Oh, he's too badly injured. My healing spells aren't working. Alright, Churcha, we're gonna go on up ahead. We'll send back help for you, okay? Hold on! All right, Marcus, Janice, where are you? Let's go. Let's get help for Churcha. What the? Is this another person that's going to attack me? Who are you? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Are you kidding me? You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you going to do? Cry? No. I'm going to do far more than that. Back off now! No need to get rough. Sorry. Oh, Churcha. I, I'm just not going to put up with this sort of rudeness. Got you. I will be the last person that you ever call a milk drinker. Let's go. Churcha, stay here. We're going to get help. I could be going the wrong way. What? Marcus, look out! Now that's how it's done. Uh, Churcha, I told you to wait for us back in the road. Come on. Marcus Janus. We'll find you. Okay, this is Helgen right over here. We'll send people down here to help you. Help someone! We have a man down! We have a man down! We need you to send a, a medical team! Send a medical team! Alright. Let's go inside. Marcus Janus? Valerius Tiberius Arcturia, you old dog. Come here, my friend. Let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you, and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Church, oh. Marcus, I'm very sorry. But whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the keepers of Church Hatsu of the doctors Skyrim. are on their way. Just, just Who would have relax. ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it. Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on... Other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. 
After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. Well, thank you. I'm gonna return it to you. But you never mentioned rebuilding Helgen until now. Why? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Well, I suppose so. I mean, this does sound like something I can do. I'm actually thinking about retiring from ad adventuring. And this might be uh, a way to leave my legacy or my mark on Skyrim. All right, I'll see you later in a day. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. Now then, Marcus, let's go get that wine. You're in one piece, so I trust your trip went church, huh? Yes, fortunately, it was without incident. All right, course, I'm, I'm gonna go get some medical to attention for you. You uh, please yes, just stay there. Uh, there's not a more loyal man in all. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have nothing to say. Who else is this up here? Well, hello. Wow, these people aren't very friendly. All right, well, let me wait for a day and um, probably come back. I think I'll spend the night in Riverwood. All right, it's a day later. Church's injuries have healed, and it's time to go back to Helgen and speak with Marcus Janus. All right, here we are, Churcha. Back in Helgen. And that must be Marcus Janus over here. Marcus, are you okay? Can I help you, friend? You said to return in 24 hours. Ah, yes, we've been waiting for you. Now that you're here, we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you. So you really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work, Val? Janice, it has to work. We have Val? no choice. Okay. Now then. What's going on? What is this all about? Reporting as ordered, sir. Good. Falco? Looks good on you too. <laughs> well, it itches and it stinks. It's had a dead man in it. What do you expect? So, now that we're all here, Valerius, would you like to fill in our friend on your plan? Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? No, I didn't. Well, yes, but that's not all of it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil, and our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. The Thalmor we again? They were turning an old fort into a prison for captured Talos worshippers. I deem the reports credible enough to investigate. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. How long has he been missing? About two weeks. What? After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst, so we mobilized and came here. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. 
This fort gave us the perfect spot to rest, resupply, and prepare to find out what happened to him. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, and tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. Marcus said you have a plan. Yes. Fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. It looks like Ellen Wynn herself was here. Ellen Wynn? Oh, I know her. Um, so maybe she was, but what does that have to do with your plan? I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with orders to transfer Korst back to Ellen Wynn for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform, and you must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. Perhaps between the two it will be enough for this to work. Alright, but I actually am an Imperial officer. So, what about the transfer order from Ellen Wynn? While searching the fort, we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them you're a special envoy from the Embassy, and they had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough, but if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I get your drift. All right, so, the prison is surely heavily guarded. Yes, it certainly will be. And make no mistake, those Thalmor bastards are beyond brutal. And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless justice here named Arendelle who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendelle I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight. What? So you must be careful. All right, well, of course there's alive. Rest assured we'll bring him back. Thank you, friend. You know, Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. And well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. The prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your armor. Don't forget to put it on. Please, return as soon as you can. And good luck. Okay. So, let me see about this armor. Alright, so, they're gonna give me armor. With no boots or anything, helmet, nothing. And, and look at my skinny, knobby knees. I mean, how am I gonna pull this off? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go to a shop and get proper clothing for this, and then we'll continue. Okay, people, um, and Churcha, where's Churcha? We need him to stay here. Churcha? What can I get for? Okay, just stay here. We'll be back, hopefully, and hopefully I can get some decent clothes so that I actually look like a Imperial. I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this, this is it. This is how they want me to go. Looking like this. Alright, well, I'm gonna go get some more clothes and then we'll head to the fort. Alright, come on, let's go. Yeah.